This is exercise 14.2, configuring the NAP enforcement for DHCP. And we are working our way through the Administering Windows Server 2012 R2 Lab Manual in preparation for exam 70-411, part of the MOAC or Microsoft Official Academic Course Lab Manual. So during this exercise, we're going to configure the NAP enforcement for the DHCP and specify the remediation services and then enable the NAP for the DHCP scope. So I'll go ahead and minimize this. And we're going to go here. So I've already installed my NAP. I'm sorry, my health configuration. I'm sorry, I, we just installed our health registration authority role. And now we're going to go ahead and right click the start button and go into command prompt admin. Here we're going to type in NAPCLCFG.MSC. Enter. Now the NAP client configuration console is going to open. And in the left pane, we want to click on Enforcement Clients. And I'm going to go ahead and expand these just so you can see that there's nothing else in here yet. So here we are on Enforcement Clients. I'm going to go ahead and minimize my command prompt and minimize my dashboard. And I'll maximize my NAP client configuration. In the corner pane, we want to double click DHCP Quarantine Enforcement Client. So, over here, we're going to double click that. And we want to select to enable this enforcement client. And then click on OK. If you are following along your lab manual and you're required to do so, this would be where you would take your next screenshot. Now we're going to close our NAP client configuration console, so I'll close out of this. And go back to our command prompt. And now we're going to type in services.msc. And then enter. And now we want to scroll down and find the network access protection agents. And that is right here. And we want to double click it and change our startup from manual to automatic. And if again, if you're following along your lab manual and you're required to do so, this would be where you take your next screenshot. And then we're going to go ahead and do OK. OK. And we're going to go back.
we're going to go ahead and start the service. We want to close the services console. And close the command prompt. Now we're going to go back to our server manager dashboard and click on tools. And network policy server. In the main pane, we want to click on Configure the Net. We want to select Dynamic Host for DHCP, which is right here. On the specify, oops, we're going to click on next. On the specify the NAP, specify NAP enforcement servers running DHCP server. We want to click on add. So I'm going to cancel this for a second. We want to go ahead and select server 1. And then next. On the specified DHCP scopes, we want to click on the add. We want to type in NAP space DHCP. NAP space DHCP. And then click on OK. And then click on Next. On the Configure Machine Groups page, we want to click on Add. And then type in domain computers. And then do check names. And then click on OK. And then click on Next. On the specify the NAP for mediation server group, we want to click New Group. And we're going to type in remediation space servers and then add, oops, cancel, and then OK. Add. Server 01, and then here you're going to type in server01.mitoso.com. We're going to click on Resolve, and then OK, and then OK again. And then next, on the Find NAP Health Policy page, I'm going to click on Next. 
if you are following along in your lab manual and are required to do so, this would be where you would take your next screenshot. We're going to click on finish. And I'll go ahead and minimize this. Go back to my server dashboard. Go into tools. And now we're going to go into DHCP. And I want to expand the RWDC. We want to expand the IPv4 node. We want to click the scope 192.168. We want to click on here and then right click it and choose properties. We want to click on the Network Access Protection tab. And enable for this scope. We're going to click on Close, or I'm sorry, OK. And then close the DACP console. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the network policy server. Okay, and that is the end of this exercise. The next exercise is configuring the SHV and the health policies.